Well, hey guys. Today I've got the car in the garage up on a jack. Uh, I'm doing a little poor man's body work. See, I will show you what I did on this side. I did this yesterday off camera. What I did was, it was rusting out here. So I cut out the bad section. And I got some metal here that I just kind of riveted in there. It actually came out pretty good. I'm going to um, put some body filler around this today. As you can see, finished up pretty good. This this right this black stuff here is like rust uh, corrosion prevention stuff here, but you know the salt gets to it anyway. But uh, yeah, I thought that came out pretty good, and I also treated down in there. So now today, I figured I would do the other side. Because this side is also rusting out. This side's not as bad as that side was, but I'm still gonna have to replace the metal here. So what I gotta do is grind this out and just kind of get as much of this off as I can. Now this is poor man's body work. I don't recommend doing this. You know, if you can afford to go to a body shop, have at it. You know, because it'll cost you like a thousand dollars to get just all this done. But if you are an average guy that doesn't make a whole lot of money like me or whatever, um, you can probably get away with doing it this way. And at least uh, when you get this all done, when I get this all done, and I'll kind of help save this area from rusting out any worse. Because if I just do nothing, it's going to get worse. So I got to get as much of this out as I can and replace it. And I've got a piece of metal over here. I don't know what kind of metal this is. Uh, it is, it's magnetic, but it's not aluminum. And, um, but I've, I've had it outside for years and it doesn't rust. So, I don't know, it's some kind of alloy or something? But, uh, yeah. We need some kind of metal that's in there that doesn't rust. So, this will work, this will do the trick. So first thing I'm going to do is kind of get all the grime out of there because what I did was I put a bunch of grease in there to help, kind of help prevent it from rusting out too bad. So we're going to kind of get the area cleaned up. Okay, we got it cleaned up pretty good. So you can see where it's kind of there's different layers of metal here. I'm going to grind this out of here. But, uh, yeah, I got to get here. All that's all bare metal. Gotta get down there. And also up here a little bit too. I'm gonna do something about this. So I'm gonna take a angle grinder and kinda just carefully grind away at this a little bit.
Okay. Oh, we're all ready to spray this on. I had to mask off the area here. Let's shake this up a little bit more. This is what I'm using right here. that dry. I have to let that dry before I do anything else. Alright, that's given it that a chance to dry a little bit. So now what I gotta do is I gotta take this piece of metal and kind of form it to the conforming edge of this here. So that means first what I gotta do I gotta not only do I have to conform it, but I also have to bend it this way. So it'll go over this and then bend it around so it forms a piece of metal, a new piece of metal right here. And huh, I don't know if I can I might need a longer piece because I gotta make it go all the way down to here. I don't know if this piece of metal is gonna work. Unless I can do it in two sections. That might work. I'd like to use one continuous piece if I can though. But I gotta kinda conform it because uh, it's see we got a hole here it kinda extends into here. So I'll just have to think about this for a minute. I think I'm going to need a longer piece of metal, so I'm going to go cut a piece. This is a piece that I cut for the other side. It didn't end up being big enough, so I thought I could get away with using it here, but I think I need a slightly longer piece. Okay, I got a longer piece. Looks like this will go in here pretty good. So, now what I got to do is just tab this a little bit. So it kind of fits in there. It's not going to be perfect. But this is the best I can do. I think once I get this riveted on here, then I'll worry about pounding this in. So, yeah, I got to really give uh, old 64 Go a shout out. Because... If I hadn't seen his old tin knocking videos, poor man's bodywork videos, I wouldn't even be doing this. I'd probably be either dealing, living with the rust or using Bondo, which you can't really fix a hole like this with Bondo. So, I think what I'm going to do now is, I had a piece of metal in there. I see a spot that I didn't hit with the rust reformer, so I'm gonna just make sure this is all covered before I get in there and do this. All right, that's covered. Because the other thing I wanna do before I seal this up is I'm going to use a little bit of this uh, WD-40 Specialist Corrosion re Inhibitor. And even though I got this all painted, this is going to be covered anyway. So, I'm going to just spray this right in here after this is dry. And that will kind of help prevent any further rusting in there. I also sprayed it. There's a little hole in the rocker panel, which you can't see. It's covered by this plug here. And I also sprayed a bunch of this in there. So, I mean, I did have this car rust proofed years ago, a few years ago, but then I really need to get it done again. I should probably get it done before winter if I can have the time to do it. But 
I don't know if I'm going to have the time, so spraying this in there sure won't hurt. And I got a heat gun, going to speed along the drying process a little bit. I'll pause this while uh, I'm waiting. Well, while I was waiting for the paint to dry up here, I also went under here and there was a few rust spots under here, some places where the undercoating had flaked off, so I got under there and I wire brushed it and I sprayed some of that rust reformer on it. And uh, then I'm going to spray some more undercoating on there. Kind of just kind of take care of the rust as I see it, as I find it. But I sprayed chip guard here a few years ago, and this has been protecting this pretty good. And the camera will focus. Camera, okay. Yeah, so overall the rocker panel is still in really good shape. It's just got some rust areas starting a little bit here and there. So, but we're going to fix that in just a minute. Okay, I just sprayed some uh, undercoating on here. What the heck was that? Them just fell over. Anyway, yeah, I sprayed some undercoating on here. So I gotta let that dry for about an hour. And then I can start putting the metal up here. So. Alright, we're back. I'm gonna try and uh, get this metal up here now. So I got it pretty much the way I want it. So I'm gonna start drilling holes. Rivets in. Just on the top though, for now. And of course, it's already got to be dark in here, so I got to use a light. Too, now we're going to put the first rivet in. I always use these uh, long ones here. They're kind of hard to find. I had to get a multi-pack. This multi-pack here. Let's get that in there. So that's one rivet of a whole bunch. I really need a ball peen hammer to do this, but I don't have one. I'm just going to kind of pound that in there the best I can. almost where I want it. Alright. Well, let's get that bottom half tacked in there.
There, that's in there. And I'm going to put one more right there. I should put some in there too. I'm trying not to have any gaps. Really get it to get as close as possible to the middle here. If there's any auto body guys watching this, I bet you're cringing right now. You know what? I can't afford to pay your rates, so that's why I'm doing it this way. That's pretty good, I guess. I could even double these rivets up if I wanted to. Here's where we don't have metal, it's right here. So I can't put any rivets here. But I do have some here. So I'm going to put in a couple of rivets, a few rivets right along this. I'm just going to pause this for now, so I'll get those roads in. Okay, we're just about done forming the metal. Uh, this part kind of got dented in when I tried to squeeze it in there, but um, that's the best I can do. Uh, I put a cut here, and now I'm just like folding it over a little bit. So it'll be strong, like right here. There. There. All right, that's pretty good, I guess. See what I did here. There's a close up. It's going to be the same here. I'm going to rivet this together and put another couple of rivets here and that'll be good. Then I can uh, paint it. Okay, I think the last thing I'm going to do here is put a little body filler in here just to seal up the edges. Light always shines right in my face. I can't see what I'm doing. Smooth it out.
this won't be too visible anyway because the door is going to be covering part of it and it'll be painted black so it'll kind of blend in you won't really notice it unless you get really close All right, that's all I'm going to do tonight, because it's uh, getting kind of late. Oh, not late, late, but I think it's like after 5 o'clock and my battery is dying. My battery barely lasted long enough to do this video, but uh, I just wanted to show you on this side. I'm all done. I just painted it up. And there is a completed repair on that side. So, it looks pretty darn good. This isn't rust, this is just grease I put on there. But I like the ribbon to look better than, uh, you know, some badly placed body filler. And I think that looks pretty good. So, that side's done, and I'll finish the other side tomorrow. I won't record that side tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, there we go. There's some uh, poor man's body work. Thanks for watching.